Hi, it's Dr. Fola Kemi here, dermatologist. Um, today I'm going to be talking about eating for healthy skin. A lot of people don't realize that care of the skin actually starts from within, from what you put into your body, what you eat, what you drink. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about that. So it's not enough to buy all the wonderful skincare products and there are quite a lot of them that are very very good for the skin you need to also take into consideration your diet and your lifestyle so i'm going to be sharing on healthy eating for healthy skin the first thing is water i know a lot of people hear about drink your water mind your business as part of your skincare routine well it's very true you need to drink a lot of water to hydrate your body, to hydrate your cells, and of course, ultimately to hydrate your skin. How much water? Two to three liters of water every day. It sounds like a lot of water, but there's a way you can actually drink it in bits that makes it not to be too tedious to drink. So I usually tell people a glass of water in the morning when you wake up, two glasses of water with every meal, a glass of water in between your meals, and a glass of water before going to bed. And if you're able to do that, you should get up to eight glasses of water, which is approximately two liters. And then if you're really good, you can go about with a water bottle, which also helps you to drink water in sips along the day. Because some people will also calculate, you know, the soft drinks that they drink as liquids and say, oh, I've had liquid. It is water, not drink. Some people find it very difficult to drink water, so you can actually help by flavoring the water with some fruit. You could cut a bit of watermelon or pineapple into your water to give it a bit of a fruity taste or flavor, and that can help you to drink you know, more water. So water, water, water. Can't get enough of it for your skin. Then it's very important to take a lot of vegetables and fruits as much as you can. The WHO recommends that we take five portions of fruits and vegetables every day. Yeah, when you say a portion, a portion is like one apple, a slice of watermelon, you know, and then a portion of vegetable could be, you know, a, a little, a small salad, or, you know, sometimes if we eat our local effort, you know, you say a portion of effort or some we do. That also, you know, counts for vegetable. Yay! Doesn't always have to be uncooked vegetable. So it's important every day to do at least one or two portions of vegetables and three portions of fruit as much as possible. If you're like me, that's always on the go, you can do smoothies. A smoothie a day is also very helpful and can help to make up at least two or three portions for your fruits. That's very, very key. Then what not to eat or what to cut down on. Cut down on very sugary foods like refined sugary foods, refined pastries, and you know alcohol so those are some of the things that are not so friendly to the skin and we need to minimize so i'm not saying cut it out completely if you can that's amazing but a gradual reduction over time usually is more sustainable than stopping everything altogether completely so i would advise that you try to reduce the number of i mean chocolates i like chocolate so that's a big problem for me Reduce the amount of biscuits, pastries like donuts that you eat, and replace them with healthier substitutes like fruits, yes, and whole grain or whole wheat bread, for instance, instead of plain bread, things like that. Those kind of things tend, generally have lower glycemic indexes, and that is, you know, helpful to the skin. Supplements, yes, if you're not getting enough fruits and vegetables in your diet which you should try to. Supplements also help. And for most of my skin patients, I do recommend supplements and, and particularly antioxidants like vitamin C and E. So vitamin C and E are very good for the skin. And if you can't get enough you know, with your food, you can actually take supplements 500 to one gram a day. Vitamin C usually 400 units, international units to 1,000 units is you know, what sometimes we can recommend. So vitamin C, vitamin E, very good. Vitamin A, we don't necessarily give people as supplements, but eating foods that are rich in vitamin A, very, very good. Things like sweet potato, palm oil, the healthy part of palm oil, 
um, they have very high vitamin A content. And vitamin A is actually retinoids. You know, the retinoids that are amazing for the skin. They are very good to put on the skin, but they are also good to um, eat or ingest orally. So those are just a few tips about how to eat for healthy skin. It's very important that as much as you're investing in a good skincare routine, you're also investing in a healthy diet to have great skin. Thank you.